we're still in Nashville. Boom, we're cooking up some amazing stuff. Tonight, we have a very special guest and... How, Ready? Well, I'm always special, so thank you for that. <laughs> well, I appreciate uh, you looking at me. <laughs> Woo! No, we, we actually have. Okay, corporate chef. Tom of Morph Hospitality is, is in the house. Name. Which is like a mouthful in itself, yeah. but it means so much. Can you explain to yeah. us what the heck that means? Because it is a lot of stuff. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big title. It's probably bigger than it should be. Uh, <laughs> what it means is that uh, Morph Hospitality is the hospitality group that oversees Chohan Ale Masala, Tonsil, and Mockingbird here in Nashville. We're uh, right off at 12th and Porter uh, downtown. So I oversee all the menu creation, the design, and I help oversee the projects of rolling out any new product or and anything we're working on in the future, which, mind you, is a ton. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you're, you're just like, saying international. I mean, from we're looking for one a place lot. to here to yeah. there. I mean, it's like, it's, I like to say it's like drinking out of a fire hose. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing uh, place. I've been here for about a year now, and I've been blown away by one, the, hos uh, the hospitality. Uh, the people have blown me away, and the quality of chefs out here are, are second to none. Um, and we've just had to the time of our life being here, um, learning from them, and just and just trying to bring our own our own stamp onto onto the city. So I love it. Um, that's hopefully what we're going to do here today. Yeah, is well, show you a little stamp onto this amazing uh, plant based crust that you guys. Well, we're are excited that you're using and incorporating yeah. you know our product in, at such a level. I mean, it's, well, it's unbelievable. I mean, it, it, it's easy for me. Good yeah. good ingredients equal good food, right? Yeah. Awesome. So um, we took this, and basically this is a play on um, something we have done in the past at the restaurant, which is a flatbread. One of the problems we had with it, there's so many people with gluten allergies. There's so many people who are vegetarian, yeah. specifically because I'm Indian-based. Yeah. Uh, fusion, there's a lot of vegetarian-based people. Mm -hmm. So this has been an answer for us uh, in a way of being able to feed those people. Right. One of the substitutes we also do, today we're going to do a chicken because I am not Indian and I eat meat all the time. <laughs> uh, but we can do it with... There's <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> right. who are right. Right. saying, yes! So, so we're going to do it that way. Yeah. But uh, you can also substitute paneer or uh, uh, mushrooms or yeah. something else to, right. uh, to handle uh, with, this, uh, with this chicken. Good stuff. Oh, so, uh, I like that. First thing we want to do is marinate the chicken. Okay. And we're going to do a classic tikka marinade, all right? And it's a big fancy word for a few ingredients. But here's our marinade, but I'm going to make it for you real quick in this bowl. Uh, but okay. You can okay. kind of see the finished okay. product before we get there. Oh my God. So it feels like I'm walking into my favorite Indian restaurant yes. you know, because I am always scared of doing this type of stuff at home. You know, spices in Indian cuisine are rather intimidating and, and I hear a lot of that uh -huh. but the truth is if you're familiar with French cuisine you'll know what's called mirepoix okay oh, yeah carrots celery and onions yeah. if you're familiar with uh, Cajun cuisine you'll know the holy trinity onion celery and green bell pepper right okay Indian cuisine has the three C's as I call them cumin coriander chili powder Okay, so I have all three of those yes. in my cupboard at home. So and you can do this. I, you know, yes, yes you can do this. I can. I'm going to. <laughs> how did you learn how to cook like this? Did you go to culinary school? And miss, miss so, doing? so I, I did attend culinary school, but to uh, to learn Indian food, I started at a restaurant called Monsoon in Chicago, which is Indian Asian fusion. Mm -hmm. Uh, I spent some time there, and then um, one of our restaurants, Chohan Il Masala, is led by celebrity chef Manit Chahan, yeah. and I worked with her as her sous chef for years at Vermilion. So we've known each other for multiple years, 13 to 15 years now, and I've been cooking Indian cuisine for about 12 or 13 of those, oh, usually, nice. like pretty heavily. Nice. So knowing the spices, mm -hmm. you know, you, you start with them, and you really don't know what you're doing with them, and eventually you kind of come to grips on how to work with them. Okay. Uh, one of the things, being from an American palate, I like things very intense and very bold. Right. Uh, where so my Indian food is probably more bold than actual Indian food. It's more I use more spices than some of our Indian cooks. But that's the way I nice. like it. So that's the way I do it. Um, yeah. So you're just kind of open to interpretation. Okay. But for this marinade, it's actually fairly simple. Okay. So this is tandoori masala. Okay. It's a mixture of spices that already comes made. Oh, okay. And you can get this at almost any Indian grocery store. Uh, there's Patel Brothers here in Nashville. Okay. There's the Farmer's Market, uh, International Market in, uh, in downtown Nashville. So we want to take about a tablespoon. This doesn't need to be measured. Don't waste your time. Okay, this is fun. I love your right. way of cooking. It is. It's fun. about the feel, okay. right? Yes. You're going to feel it. Cumin. Okay. All right. Here, let me do this this way. Cumin. Okay. All right. This is uh, meti or fenugreek. It's a basically an Indian herb. Can okay. I taste it? Yeah, it's it's really dry, so it's gonna it, it eats better when it softens up, but it has this amazing flavor to it. So we kind of crunch it up. Mm -hmm. It's in tikka masala pretty pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. Paprika, which is smoked. This gives a little color, just a little smokiness. All right, this is something very strange that I, a lot of people don't know about. It's called black salt. Mm. Okay, and it's not salt. It's a spice. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. 
And it gives, it almost has, it's weird, it has this almost egg smell to it, but it's yeah. not like that when you hit it in there. It's got this really intense, bold flavor. So a lot of those really deep Indian flavors mm -hmm. that you can't get at home, yeah. it's because you're not using any of this. Okay. That's and where, can you get that like at a local oh, yeah. market? Uh, it, the Indian, Indian store, Patel okay. Brothers. Yeah, okay. you got to stick to that. More of like an ethnic food. Okay. Coriander. Okay. Look at color. the colors in there. Turmeric. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what I love about Indian yeah. food. There's so many variations of color. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. We'll get all the way, and then we're going to go ahead and add yogurt. Okay, which, and what kind of yogurt? We use Desi yogurt, which is Indian yogurt, but okay. Greek yogurt's fine. Uh, if you can only find really, you know, poor quality, uh, just regular Danon yogurt, all mm -hmm. you want to do is wrap it in a coffee filter and hang it in your fridge overnight, tie it up, and it'll drip all the liquid out, and you'll have hung yogurt, huh. and it'll be nice and thick, and you'll have okay. that Desi-style yogurt. And it's just plain flavored, right? Correct, just plain yogurt. In fact, we make it ourselves in oh, a restaurant, okay. which is very easy to do. All you have to do is heat up milk, and then let it sit out overnight. That's it? Yeah, you add a little bit of yogurt to start it. And yeah. that's it, and you awesome. yogurt. Nice. And is that like whole milk? Goat? We, I mean, we definitely use whole milk, but we've done it with goat. We've okay. done, you know, we have no problem using different types. All right, mix it up. It already smells so good. You got to marinate. So easy. Yum. So now we take our yogurt. Move it. We'll take our finished marinade. Okay. I like so to let this wait. Sit. So the color does that intensify? With yes. It? I mean, so it's, it's going to get a little red. It's going to sit more. So that's why we're using this one. Okay. Because it had a chance to bloom. Okay. Oh, bloom! I like that. Okay. You say uh, maybe overnight. I, I we make this. Yeah, we make this for about three days. So we let it sit. I prefer it to sit at least one night. Okay. And the flavors really come together. Nice. Mix into your chicken. Very simply. Yeah. Nice. All right. Now this, per preferably, would be cooked in a tandoori oven, but none of us have those at home. No. So what we do, we just cook them on a grill okay. at my house. Okay. Which we make this all the time at my house for my kid. My kids love this. They eat it up. Oh, see, right. I love that. So this, too, I prefer to marinate this for at least four hours. Okay. You know, um, this is, you don't want to go much beyond four Cause hours. Because it's not, because with chicken, it's going to be kind of sketchy. You don't want to go. It gets strong. Oh, yeah. oh, The flavor oh, so gets really okay. strong. Okay. So that's one of the issues that we have. Plus the um, some of the ingredients in here, we'll start curing the chicken a little bit. Okay, that's what so I was, yeah. Okay. We just put it. We go ahead and put it in the fridge. Uh -huh. Four hours. It'll be good. All right, easy peasy. Yeah, put it in the fridge. Thank you, madam. All right, and by the magic of TV, I've already made some. All right, so here is our sliced up chicken that's been marinated and cooked in the uh, in the grill. Yummy. All right, be like Rachel. Can we, can we try these? Yes, please. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, that is amazing. You like it? Oh yeah, I'd eat that just by itself. Okay. Definitely. So, Great basis for mm -hmm. our flatbread that we're mm -hmm. going to start using. Okay, so what I want to talk about next is tikka masala. Okay, which is probably the most famous Indian sauce, right? Yeah. But here's the thing: it's not Indian. What? It's not? Yes, right. <laughs> so I'm telling what? everybody in the world, it's British. Really? Yeah, it's Britain's national dish. It was invented in Britain by an Indian chef for bar goers who were looking for a late night snacky meal. They told them they were Indian. The Indian clientele telling them what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. the guy came up with. That's pretty funny. Because I so, would actually take this crust and just dip it. Oh, that, absolutely. I would just eat that. That'd be like my dip. Yeah. And just like so. Yeah. So, but this is going to be a really fun way of utilizing both, and it's real simple. So, masala sauce is pretty simple to make. Um, you can find recipes, but it's it's viable. Places like Patel Brothers stuff sell right. masala sauce right. already ready. So, Perfect. if you wanted, you could purchase it. So, yeah. we're just going to spread it on like pizza sauce. Yeah. I like making it. Um, oh, sure. Personally. And it's once you understand cumin, coriander, chili powder. The world's your oyster. <laughs> or your tico. I was like, wait. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So we spread the spread it on the crust just like we would a pizza. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. That's it. Oh. We'll top it with some chicken. Okay. Yeah, waste not one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> I will help so you with that. Good. Mm. All right. Very straightforward. Yeah. This is so yummy. The one thing I really I mean, like Well, and healthy, too. I mean, there's not, I mean, already right. the crust is, you know, a great product, but then what you're adding to it is not sure. like a, a ton of fat. And... Well, okay, hold on. Well, okay, well, but, <laughs> but still, I mean, but still. These are Kenny's cheese curds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so we are going to have <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know what? That is not the enemy. No, 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 it's right, not. Right. It's not. And, and, it, and if it was, I'd still be adding this. Right? right. Just throwing it out there. Right. So we take our cheese curds. We actually dice these up a little bit so it'll melt a little better. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, the one thing about cheese on a pizza, not too much. Right. Okay? It just doesn't it doesn't melt right. It doesn't cook right. It's not a nice even amount of flavors. Uh-huh. So just, you know, be a little sparing with it. We're going to do a little bit of sliced tomato. Oh, I like that. Freshness adding to that. Yeah. 
Mad skills right there. Look at that. <laughs> All right. He's a professional. We'll put a little right. sliced tomato on there. Oh, I, I learned how to do that before I got here. I didn't want to look foolish. Well, you know. <laughs> so. You don't want you losing right. a thumb or anything. <laughs> basil. I see these beautiful fresh basil leaves right here, so there's no see, way I'm not going to Again, so, even with your eyes, I think that's just so beautiful. So it's what, like canvas. What, what we're going to do here is put some on now uh -huh. and then some on afterwards. Right. So that way I get a little bit cooked in and then we'll have a little bit of freshness on top. Mm -hmm. All right. Olive Excellent. oil. Nice. Oh. Why we, not? Right? Why not? And then we want to season it a little bit. This and is just salt. Is kosher, kosher salt. Kosher, okay. Yep. Uh, in the restaurant, we use Diamond Crystal because that's what we're accustomed to using. Uh -huh. uh, but Morton's works just fine. Um, so that's it. Let's ready to go in? Let's go in the oven. Oh my goodness. Can you do the honors? Look at this. We're doing a little da -da. assembly line. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I'll get the door. <laughs> turn it on. All right. So how long are we going to like... So my, you know, I'm thinking probably around six to eight minutes is what's going to take it. We want to crank that thing all the way up. Okay. Get as much heat as we can. Okay. And I think six is probably going to be about right. Okay. So we'll awesome. go from there. We'll be right back. All right. Look at that. Delicious. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Looks great. Okay. Last thing we got to do is I want some fresh basil on there too. Oh, yeah. But we want to take the fresh basil and tear it by hand. Okay. Okay. This helps bruise up the leaf. And so you want it bruised. Yeah, we want it bruised because then it releases its essential oil. Okay. So we're not going to bruise it in a knife and turn it a different color, but we're, it's going to break up some of the cell walls in this basil leaf and allow its aroma to come out and its oils and its flavor. Okay. So we'll get a little bit more intensity. You can smell it. I mean, it's, the basil no, no, I love that yeah. because, no, that, that is teaching me something totally new because I've always used, like, scissors to snip it yes. and make, like, ribbons. So, and you're right. So it, that's the chiffonade. Right? Yeah, that's the yep. chiffonade, right? right? And that, that is fine if you want look, but it right. does nothing for flavor. Well, okay. I'm after flavor here. Oh. And so, so, in fact, you'll see menus. <laughs> I'm you'll, so excited. <laughs> I am really excited learning something new. I have no idea. You'll even see on menus from time to time hand-torn basil because they want you to understand that okay. they understand how to work with basil. Okay. Nice. So that's that's it. This oh is this thing's done. We can cut it oh up. Oh, my goodness. Let's uh, cut it up. Let's have make some this lunch. happen. Let's make this happen. Do I use your fancy Ooh. knife or do I use a pizza cutter? Goodness gracious. That one's hot. Do we, oh, just look at that. Using his apron. Okay. Well, you want to do the honors? Heck, yeah. I want to do right. the honors. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my heavens. This now, do your, your whole family, do your kids enjoy eating this as, as much? Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, my kids enjoy eating it, but my wife enjoys my kids eating it. Heck yeah. Because it's a cauliflower right. crust, right? It's plant-based. Right. So, so right. she's excited because they'll eat it because it's healthy. Right. Oh, God, um, yeah. Because normally, you know, they're, they're, the, the pizza they want to eat is oh, the pizza yeah. nobody else in the family wants to eat, right? So no. this is a good, happy medium. Uh, they think it's delicious. Uh -huh. they, it smells good, and it's healthy. So, oh my gosh. It's a no-brainer for us. Yeah, no, I mean, well, to me, it's just like, yum. Well, and okay. I think if you start kids young and trying different foods, too, there's so much Come more. On, we got to break that third wall. Let's okay. get these guys in here. Get them Come, on Come, Come on up. Come on. Got to break that third wall. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a pizza party. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Mm. Smells good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here. Please. Come on in. Can't have a pizza party there without people. There is a party in my mouth right now. Oh, man. This is so good. Oh, uh-huh. So Cheers to yeah. you. Yeah. Seriously. Fantastic. Thank you. Tom, oh. you have been, seriously, one of the most organized people we've had on this show. Oh, thank you. But, mm. I mean, the most oh my gosh. creative when it comes to toppings. So good. thank you so much for oh, teaching us this. By far, like, this is the, the, one of the best recipes we've well, ever had. Well, I mean, thank I've you. learned a ton, and that excites me. A lot because I have been intimidated by this, and I think you at home too. I mean, this has just opened up a whole new corridor of cuisine. That well, good man, yeah. it is just fabulous. So, yay, try it at home, you know, and you're gonna love it. I'm loving it, and we're gonna say goodbye so I can shove the rest of this in my mouth. <laughs> Until next time, top our foods. We'll see you next Bye. time. Thank you.